for today, millions of Americans are marking Good Friday. Uh, certainly, it's a pinnacle day for Christians during Holy Week. And with Easter just a few days away, some of our churches in the area are trying to get creative with how to handle Sunday services this year. Brandon Truitt is live uh, near Cathedral Square this morning in Providence with an update. Brandon? Hey Danielle, good morning. Easter, one of those things that also is going to feel a little different. The holiday is a pillar of the Christian faith, and this year the governor is asking for understanding. Churches, unfortunately, will have to remain closed, and I will ask you to do the same and get creative. Continue to worship, continue to pray, continue to find hope in your faith and in your faith communities, but, but do it in a safe way. And that's really the challenge here. So much of how Christians worship involves community and togetherness. That is why churches in our area, well, they're getting innovative, bringing people together online. Several places of worship have been streaming services for people to watch at home, if not on television, maybe through social media. In fact, two priests in Warwick tell us that the demand for the service has been high. We're actually on three different platforms to try to accommodate all the needs. Palm Sunday on our school website there were 1,500 hits and on our parish website there were 1,700 hits. Eyewitness News wants to let you know that we will be carrying Bishop Thomas Tobin's Easter Sunday Mass live on WPRI 12. It starts at 11 a.m., of course, this coming Sunday. You'll also be able to watch that on our website, WPRI.com, and the WPRI 12 News app. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.